Hey, what's going on, everyone? Good morning. How's everyone doing? Hope, hopefully, everyone's doing well. This is your boy, M.E., and if you like this video, comment, subscribe for more, and we're going to get into the story. Well, uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a little drama, you know, YouTube community. Uh, this is in the beauty section. It's about Tati Westbrook, James Charles, and about their falling out because of loyalty. Not because of vitamins. Well, what happened was, James Charles did a Instagram story uh, talking about Sugar Bear because he needed security. So basically, they wanted him, well, he wanted to be safe at Coachella. In order for him to be safe, he had to do a deal with Sugar Bear, which was Tati's uh, Halo brand rival. They were competitors. So when she saw that, she was crying. She was pissed. She was angry. He won't apology. Eh, not good. So fast forward a few weeks later, blah, 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 blah. Tati came up with this video called Bye Sister. If you never heard that video, I'll put the name of the video down. You got to check it out. And you, you can watch the first 24 minutes. If you watch the first 24, 25 minutes, of that video that's all you need to know about the James Charles Tati story and she was talking about how he broke her trust and how basically it took him in because remember in case nobody don't know James Charles is from the Northeast he's from where I'm at New York from NY so basically she took him in from NY to her place because she lives in California her and her husband, James, another name, which is Tati's husband, James Westbrook, took him in, groomed him up to this basically crazy celebrity. And she didn't want anything back as long as he stayed loyal. Well, everything looked good until recently, you know, when her video came out which is viral right now, 30 plus million views, which is crazy. And uh, not only she talked about that, uh, about the loyalty thing, she was talking about something interesting about James Charles and straight men. Like how James Charles loves straight men, but the thing is that James Charles is gay, he likes men. But things that he likes to hit on straight men. Well... He did say it a few times, and I do remember in his um, video with Shane Dawson and Shane Dawson's husband, Roland Adams, I'm, I no, it was Ryland Adams, and they was telling him, don't do it, don't do it, and he didn't listen, and he's in trouble where he's at right now. It was an incident that she basically was saying in a video, Tati's video by sister where he basically was coming on to a guy in Seattle, which I have the video right here, which I'm going to play soon. And he was trying to come on him and I'll let him explain the story and I'll get back to y'all after the video. I'm here today to talk about my past with James Charles. To start off, I've been anonymously mentioned in two separate videos, one being the by sister Tati video and the other being the Nikita Dragon X's video. But today I'm really only going to focus on the Tati video. So in Tati's video, she said she was disgusted by James' actions towards me, the waiter, in a restaurant in Seattle. So I'm about to tell my story, um, including all the details and direct messages between me and James. To start off, him and about 32 other people all came into the fancy restaurant that I was working in. And they were all there for Tati's birthday. And Tati and her husband came in and they helped set up the big table and everything. So we knew that they were coming. And at that time, I really didn't know who James Charles was. I recognized his face, but I didn't know who he was. So when he came in with everyone, it was kind of a big surprise. So when he came into the restaurant, I noticed him and his kind of entourage with Jeffree Star, him, 
So Jeff, Jeffrey Sharp, James Charles, and all of Tati's family was there at my restaurant. And throughout the night, James and his friend and everyone, they just kept looking at me, but especially James. And he was looking at me. Later on that night, he started talking to the other employees about me, asking me if I, if I had a Valentine. This, is, this was on Valentine's Day. And he kept asking me if, asking the waiters if I was single and that they thought I was very attractive. Or he especially thought that I was very attractive and he wanted to get my phone number and all that. But the wait staff at my restaurant didn't let that happen. He left and it kind of just went untalked about. The next day, my sister convinced me to direct message James Charles. And I did. We can throw the screenshot up here somewhere in the post. I said, LOL, it's Sam, the buster from John Howie. John Howie is the restaurant that we worked at. He replied with OMFG, and then I replied with LMAO. Then he asked me how I was, and then he, you can kind of read here, he's like, sorry about last night, you're very attractive. And then I responded with, it's all good, very flattering actually. Then he said, love that, did not know you were 19, oh my god, I am too. We proceeded to talk for a while. It was his last night in Seattle. He actually invited me out to his hotel. At that time, I was by curious. I had never done anything with a guy before, and I was curious. Later that night, he invited me out to his hotel room. When I got there, in the video, he said I was brought up by four security guards, but in reality, I was brought up by one concierge. But besides that, I get to the hotel room. We say hi. It's all fine. We end up watching a movie. And after that movie, he asked to kiss me. And I was very nervous, because I had never done anything with a guy, and I was bi-curious, so... I said yes, and we ended up making out for around an hour, and... If I'm being honest, he's the worst kisser I've ever kissed. Way too much tongue. Yeah, <laughs> but... Besides that... So he didn't want me to leave from the hotel room. And he kept telling me to stay, like, please stay, please stay, don't leave me all this and that, but I really wanted to go home. So I left, and throughout the following weeks, we kept in contact, and my birthday was coming up on the 22nd, and he wanted to fly me out to LA. And that kind of freaked me out, because at that point, I, th I was pretty sure I was straight. So I told him in a long text message that I am straight, and that he, if he were to fly me out, I wouldn't think it was right if I wasn't attracted to him, but if he still wanted to fly me out as friends, I gave that as an option to him. So he declined my offer and canceled the flight, and that's when he got really sad and emotional. He took to, to social media, and his response to me was that he thought he didn't think that I was straight. He told me, you're not straight. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll throw up the, the DM conversation right, right here. And we kind of stopped talking after that for a little bit. And then he came back to me. He asked me for closure. After he called me for the clo closure conversation, he, uh, he offered to fly me out again and I declined. Because I didn't want to use him for his money or his fame. I thought that that was wrong. And that's what everyone was telling me. That it was just it would have been wrong to go out there. If I wasn't actually feeling the same way that he was. So I declined for the second time the trip to LA. He still went on to say he thought I was bisexual or gay. And attracted to him when I had told him different. That pretty much went on for a long time. Until we kind of ended it at I'm legitimately not feeling anything, please stop talking to me, this and that. So in this screenshot, it shows him telling me how I felt, and luckily I screenshotted it because later on he went on to delete and unsend those messages, knowing he was in the wrong and he was guilty, so those messages in the live conversation aren't there anymore. Not only was he telling me how I felt, telling me that I was bisexual, but he was also, at the same time, talking to Gage. And I found this out 
after Gage released his video explaining his side of the story with James. And then I was just kind of, I was just done with him. I didn't want to do anything, have anything to do with him after that, after finding out that he was kind of playing two guys, two straight guys at the same time. So we have footage of him admitting to it on FaceTime that he was in fact talking to me and Gage at the same time. All right. I hope y'all watched the video. Um, I couldn't play the FaceTime because it could get me in trouble and a lot of people in trouble. So I can't play the FaceTime. It's a little too much, so I'm not going to play that. And I don't have that footage. But if you have any questions about the video, let me know. Comment down. If you like it, share it, subscribe for more. And peace.